Alright, so I got my package today for the Ryzen 7 27X. And we're doing a little upgrade here. We're going to swap out the Ryzen 5 that I currently have. <coughs> Seven box. You can see it says Ryzen 7 2700X. It's an eight core, 16 threads, 3.7 gigahertz clock base. There she is. <coughs> and max boost is 4.3 gigahertz. It has the new Wraith. cooler. So there's the processor itself. This is the new Wraith Prism cooler. It's actually pretty pretty big. Wow. A lot bigger than I expected. That's what she said. I'm guessing this is the RGB connector. Um, this is the fan connector. Yeah. Okay. Put this down for now. Alright, so I'll be taking a look at this and swapping that out for my <coughs> Ryzen 5 that's in there. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to put and start using this cooler. This actually looks pretty cool. It's huge. A lot bigger than I expected. But that's going to be cool. I'm going to like that. All right, so yeah, we'll get back. So after running the benchmark uh, for the CPU side, I got a score of 36.59 and 13.203. And this is with the 16 gigs of uh, RAM. And I have my SSD running the benchmark. So yeah, and I'm gonna be comparing that as soon as I swap out the CPU with um, Ryzen 7. So with Unigen Heaven, I was able to score 72.2. And this is running at Ultra. Um, yeah, the RX 580 is not bad. So we'll test it out once I get the Ryzen 7 and see if there's any difference. So that's the old Ryzen 5. This is the old CPU cooler. Surprisingly, it's a Cooler Master. Um, this isn't the one that comes with the stock. <coughs> this isn't exactly the stock cooler, I think, because that's a Ryzen 5 1400. But this was a pre-built, so it came with this. I honestly don't know if this is the stock cooler, but yeah. So we're going to swap that out real quick. So I got everything put back now. So swapped out the cooler. Um, Pretty beefy. Hopefully it works all right. Um, I think that's where I plugged in the RGB cable. Unfortunately, on my motherboard, I only have one header for that, so I'm gonna have to see if that works out. And my fans are not gonna have any lights on, but we'll see. I'm probably just gonna have to pick up the Corsair Commander or something like that. I'm gonna swap out those fans anyways. Um, so yeah, we'll see if this works. So I have it all hooked up now. Cool, looks really good. Um, but I got this problem. So apparently that BIOS update I did, which 
MSI has on their website. Um, I guess it doesn't work. It doesn't support the new platform yet. So, that sucks. Um, but I'm going to keep trying and try to look for a solution. Alright. It seems like I got everything working. Um, as you can see there, it says Ryzen 7 2700X. Summer Ridge. Some clock speeds for gigahertz for that one. Um, I don't know. I can't get Ryzen Master to work for some reason. I think I gotta download a new version. But for whatever reason, when I installed the new processor, my UEFI BIOS uh, boot manager um, swapped out. Um, the priorities so that's what happened but yeah i'll test this out and see what we got i'll try to get that in the ryzen master to work so with unigen heaven uh, running on the ryzen 7 2700x um i got a very minimal um bump in the fps score i got 73.6 and the score is 1854 that's to be expected. Obviously, this is a very graphics-intensive, um, GPU-reliant benchmark, so it's going to kind of translate that way uh, with the video games. So I'm not going to really, I don't expect to see a lot of bumps in frames per second, but this is going to give me the ability to stream, um, play my games, and uh, be able to do all that without uh, um, any hit to my performance. So I ran the Geekbench uh, test again, and from my Ryzen 5 1400, I my Ryzen 5 scored a single score, uh, single core score of 3,659, and then the multi-core score it had 13,203. So with the Ryzen 7 2700X, I'm able to get a single core score of 4,519 and a multi-core score of 23,554. So that's a significant bump. Uh, obviously, this, this is just a synthetic benchmark, um, but just upgrading my RAM and upgrading the processor uh, from the quad-core to this 8-core um, and 16-thread processor, it's a big difference. Um, um, noticeably, from day-to-day -day use, I noticed that the computer's just way snappier, obviously, because of my SSD upgrade, that just factors in a big um, difference in the speed of day-to-day -day use of applications. But the other day, I was playing video games, and I was running a video in the background, streaming and watching other videos. I was doing a lot in the background, and I had a million uh, Chrome tabs open. Um, it never gave me a problem, so I'm really happy about this uh, processor. Um, obviously I'm going to do uh, more tweaks to it. I haven't overclocked it yet, so that's something I'm going to be doing. This is running at stock speeds of 3.7 gigahertz, so I'm going to try to do a modest uh, overclock, maybe around 4 gigahertz, since I'm just running the stock uh, Wraith cooler, which is awesome, by the way. Um, so yeah, I'll be back and do some more testing as soon as I fine-tune my overclocks.